All right, guys, welcome to another lecture. Today, it's going to be another interesting and important topic. It's called complex regional pain syndrome. Even the topic says it's complex, but it's not very complex to understand, but it's very important to understand. So, as the name suggests, it's basically a painful condition which can affect any limb in the body. It could be your arm, leg, or the foot. There are various causes for complex regional pain syndrome, but it usually occurs after an injury such as a fracture. Now, what happens in complex pain, regional pain syndrome, is that you have a very high burning pain in the affected area and the characteristic feature is that it is worse than expected you normally will not expect the amount of pain that you have and the patient has when you compare it to the injury there could be a necessitated loss of fine motor control tremors or the patient may have spasms right? Could be associated changes to the skin, hair, and nails on the affected limb. The affected limb may have changed temperature, it could be warmer or colder than the unaffected limb, and it could be sweatier or drier than the unaffected limb. So, these are the main features, clinical features of CRPS or a complex pain syndrome. Now, as I said, it's usually secondary to injuries. So things like fractures or penetrating injury or any kind of surgery can trigger a complex regional pain syndrome. Now, there are various theories that say why this happens, why does a patient end up having a complex regional pain syndrome, but it's nothing really concrete that says you, you know, it's 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 a, it's a CRPS picture. So they say it could be secondary to a sympathetic nervous system dysfunction or somatic nervous system dysfunction, or it could just be an inflammation of the nerves. Some other factors like hypoxia or loss of oxygen, psychological factors, because of fracture surgery or penetrating injuries have also been postulated. But as I said, it there is there's no clear cut mechanism for that. So it is primarily based upon a clinical diagnosis and there's no as such clinical, um, sorry, no as such diagnostic test for CRPS. It's primarily based upon patient's history and the symptom the patient presents to you. You know, sometimes a doctor may order blood tests, bone scans or X-rays, but these are primarily to rule out other conditions. Similarly, CT scans or MRI could be done to rule out other conditions, but it's primarily a clinical diagnosis based upon the history and clinical examination. And the treatment is primarily, as the condition is associated with chronic pain, so the treatment is primarily related to relieving pain for the patient. You can help the patient by physio and occupational therapy which which helps in the overall spasms and building up the body and helps to cope with the pain that the patient is suffering from counseling is a great help in such patients because they have been coping with this severe pain for such a long time and if you help them by giving some kind of a counseling and psychiatric help then this kind of this this kind of treatment really helps now, if the pain is not resolved by simple measures as described so far by simple pain relieving medications, physical therapy or counseling, the patient may benefit from nerve blocks as it can significantly reduce the pain. Now, the final treatment option in such patients where the pain is not getting relieved is basically an electrode or some kind of a medication delivery system which is implanted into the body and which provides cure of this pain for a long time. So that's your CRPS or complex regional pain syndrome in summary. I've tried to go in detail, but still 
keep it basic and simple so it's basically a painful condition resulting from an injury no obvious cause but postulated to be basically related to a sympathetic alteration or a nervous system alteration no significant diagnostic test, no specific diagnostic test and treatment is primarily based upon pain medications i hope you like this video please do not forget to subscribe do share and leave your comments have a good night